What are some of the things you should expect as you're growing a YouTube channel? It's a great question. I got some great answers coming up. Brian G. Johnson. Brian G. Johnson here, and to grow on YouTube, stake a claim and amplify your message. Do that by subscribing. Click on the bell notification and you'll be on your way. First things first, a big question I see a lot of YouTubers that are getting started ask is, you know, how many views should I have? I published 10 videos, I've been around for three months. The fact of the matter is there's no normal when it comes to how well you're doing on YouTube, how many views or subscribers you're getting based on how long or how many videos you've uploaded to the platform. You see, there are far too many variables that really lead to far different results. If you're in the gaming community and you're publishing gaming videos, the amount of views, the potential for views is a lot higher than someone like, well, my channel. I don't talk about like, you know, gaming. So really understand as you move forward, there is no normalcy or normal metric that you can gauge how your channel is doing. What's really important is that you strive to carry on and you continue to upload videos. That's what's most important. And if you're doing that, you're doing fantastic. It's the most important thing without a shadow of a doubt. Don't stop, don't get caught up in wondering. Do your best to continue uploading while striving to improve your videos. That's one of the big themes I share on this channel is instead of focusing on views and subs, to focus on the skills that will get you those things. Because at the end of the day, what drives results on YouTube is really great skill sets that separate struggling YouTubers from those that are succeeding. Big YouTubers are great at video editing, creating compelling titles, creating thumbnails that really pop and stand out. So aim to get more skills, continue to upload, and do your best to enjoy the journey and success will have you. Now I mentioned big YouTubers, and this is kind of a sticky subject, but here's what's up. Your thinking, how you think about YouTube may be off. And furthermore, it really might put you in danger and ultimately kind of screw with your mental health here on this platform. And the reason why is simple. When we start really getting excited about YouTube, when we watch other YouTubers, we don't watch the bad YouTubers. We watch great YouTubers that almost always have been doing it for a period of time, usually years. And along the way, they publish hundreds of videos and they gain, guess what? Those skills I just mentioned. And that means that you're watching the cream of the crop, the very best YouTubers that have awesome skill sets that allow them to grow an audience. Now, what can happen is you can think this is kind of the normal. This is what happens when you launch a YouTube channel. You publish videos, you drive thousands of views, you got brand deals, you can make money. This YouTube thing is really amazing. And then what happens is you get started and you realize that you don't have the skill sets that those other YouTubers do. And ultimately, you don't drive the views or gain the subscribers that you had anticipated, that you had expected. And that's the thing you don't wanna do. Do your best to let go of expectations. Know that as you proceed, as you carry on, and as you upload videos, you're gonna get better. It's just how it works being a human being. The more we do stuff, the better we get. As long as you're striving to improve. Have I said that enough now? So yeah, getting views is really challenging and learning all the intricacies to make that happen takes time. And the same thing goes with subscribers. Getting views is hard and getting subscribers is even probably just a little bit harder. One of the things you can expect is to get a very small percentage of viewers to click on the subscribe button. Now, about 1% is a great target to shoot for. In other words, if you publish a video and that video drives 100 views, well, expect to get one subscriber. Now, I've been on YouTube for about three years now, and as I've continued to publish the videos and improve my skill set, well, the amount of people subscribing has really increased and it's allowed me to grow my channel so much faster. 
I used to get that 1% subscriber ratio. I drive maybe a thousand views and get 10 subscribers. Today I drive a thousand views and I might get 30 subscribers. How? By practicing, improving, and so on. Now here are some tips that will really boost your results. Topics, titles, and thumbnails. Focus your attention on those things. Choose topics that have a huge audience. Create titles with keywords and make them compelling and spend the time to learn how to create a really cool thumbnail that'll help you get more people clicking, it'll improve your views and you'll win. Now another thing you should expect to go wrong is kind of the YouTube system itself. You see, there are a lot of things that happen here on YouTube that YouTube really doesn't plan for, they just happen. They release new features, there's bugs. One example is there are a lot of data centers that really measure your subscribers. The analytics might say you have this many subscribers and yet if you check your YouTube channel, it's gonna report back you got this many subscribers. And the difference is gonna be really small. Same thing can happen with views. You might see a discrepancy, right? There might be a slight difference in views from the analytics app to the actual website that your channel resides on. So the thing to think about is these are, at the end of the day, these are small items that aren't gonna really determine the success or not of your channel. Don't make mountains out of molehills. Now check out these videos to drive more views and get more subscribers to your YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Click on the yellow B to the G icon to do just that and when you do, you'll feed a poodle. I've got two and they're hungry. I'll see you next time. You dig?